in the Cadillac Girl, let's put some miles on it Anything you want Just to put a smile on it You deserve it, baby, you deserve it all And I'm gonna give it to you Gold jewelry shining so bright Strawberry champagne on us Lucky for you, that's what I like That's what I like Lucky for you, that's what I like That's what I like Tell me who's the fairest Is it you? Is it you? Is it me? Is it me? You say it's us, say it's us. And I'll agree So what I'm going to miss is definitely the guidance from uh, other players who've played for, and then a lot of the freshmen who I've uh, developed friendships with, and the coaches. I'll definitely miss the coaches in Tilly. It's probably a tie between two things. Um, my teammates and the coaching staff and just the family that we created here, um, and definitely the dogs. So it's definitely a hard choice between the two. I'll probably miss the most the people here definitely I'll definitely miss being able to not exercise on my own like playing a sport you kind of are forced to exercise and that's probably gonna be the hardest thing for me out in the real world I'm going to miss having my team right here right here near me I know that I can always contact them when I need them but it's the difference between being able to go to their room and say I need help or to go to talk to them whereas now there may be a phone call or an hour drive away for me. Um, I'm definitely going to miss my relationship with my coaches and teammates. Not that that's going to change, but I'm going to miss having them, you know, just uh, walk away or over here in the fact whenever I need them. But I'm just going to miss the overall experience and just being a student athlete and playing soccer all the time. I'm really going to miss the like family aspects of the team. So this is my actually first time playing um, a sport at Sweet Briar at all as a senior. Um, and you always hear about sports, you know, being a family and, you know, being really close to each other. And I wasn't really anticipating and expecting the amount I would really feel that coming in as a senior. Um, but it's been extremely real, like the community aspect of just on the teams and just the way they've really like brought me into the family, you know, not being a new athlete, especially with a lot of our players being really new on the lacrosse team. It's just been really awesome and I'm really going to miss feeling that with a bunch of people I haven't been friends with before. I think my favorite memory within the past few years at least was that first day that we all came back for preseason um, in 2015 and I showed up in August for a sport I'd never played before and everyone was there doing registration and taking paperwork and just every time someone walked in the door everyone was like oh hey welcome back like we're so excited you were here and it was just really nice to have that kind of atmosphere being that excited when we all came back. Well, my favorite soccer memory is my freshman year, my first collegiate goal. I scored with my butt. It was a great moment. I don't think I could ever repeat it if I tried. <laughs> I remember it was a corner and then Emily Welch headed it and it came across the post and I wasn't sure if it was gonna go in. So I was trying to back heel it in and it kind of hit off my heel and then off my butt, but into the goal, which is the important part. I think one of my favorite memories is during soccer, our senior game was the Hollands game. I just felt like there was nothing left for me to give and I played at my all, got to knock down some girls, got to do some really cool plays. So that's my favorite memory. 
I think that my favorite memory is probably going to Hilton Head every year. We play in the Spring Tennis Fest and we just have a great time and we live in a house together for an entire week and we don't kill each other and that's really impressive. <laughs> I think one of my favorite um, hockey memories is actually from this year. Um, we were playing a game and this girl lifted the ball up over Dotson and I just kind of stuck my stick up in the air and batted it down and I was just so excited because I couldn't believe I did it and everybody else ran up to me and we're all just so excited and we're like, holy crap, how did that just happen? This is awesome. And it was just, it was so exciting because like I was really proud of myself and everybody else was equally proud of me, which is just so nice. So my favorite memory from softball was when the school was closing and it was our last home game and it was my last at bat and I totally hit my first home run ever. I would like to thank Amy for always keeping my office really nice and neat and you know she always just keeps things really organized in there and providing me with snacks. That's always great. Also, thanks Teresa for trying to teach me how to play tennis. I know it's not going well, but I really appreciate the faith that you put in me. Well, I want to thank uh, Coach Burl and Coach Schwartz and Coach Newman for giving me the chance to play, even though I've never played before, and for believing in me and always pushing me to do my best, even on days when I've wanted to just give up. Um, I really like to thank Coach Lott for pushing me out of my comfort zone with field hockey, and it doesn't happen very often, but field hockey definitely did that for me um, and I really want to thank coach D for uh, being such an amazing coach and working so hard on this program and sticking with us and never losing faith in um, our team as individuals as players academically on and off the field so I really want to thank her for that uh, well thank you Amy for everything because basically without you I wouldn't have come to Sweetbriar in the first place thank you for recruiting me the first time and thank you for pushing me to come back and being so supportive for everything because literally without you I would not be here. Thank you. I would especially love to thank Coach Newman and Coach Burl for taking their time and their energy and committing it to a heck of a first cross country season. I know it was not easy but it was a lot of fun and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I wish I had more seasons to dedicate to the sport. Yeah, I mean, I can't thank every single coach, but I wish I could. I mean, the things that they do for us just on a daily basis is amazing, but I guess a special shout out uh, to Megan Burrell and Meredith Newman for leaving everything behind to come here and to make all of this work. Yeah, I would definitely love to thank Coach Newman, Coach Burrell, and Coach Schwartz um, for taking on this extreme challenge of having a bunch of new athletes on the lacrosse team. They're amazing, and they're also extremely patient because a lot of us don't really know what we're doing, and they're just some of the best coaches in the entire world, and I couldn't be more thankful to them. Um, I would like to thank Coach Lott for teaching me how to play field hockey when I had no idea what I was doing. And I would like to thank Coach D for actually being a coach who knows what they're talking about because I've had tons of coaches that had no idea. Thanks, Amy. You pretty much run my life. And without you, I'd probably be lost in the wilderness, literally and figuratively, because we all know I suck at directions too. And Teresa, thanks for really forcing me to play tennis. You really showed me a new sport that I never thought I'd be able to play. And if you can teach me to have hand-eye coordination, then you're a miracle worker and you can do anything. So thank you. Well, I would like to thank both Coach Amy and Coach Meredith and Coach Burl for first putting up with all my puns. They're fantastic, but you know, <laughs> too much can not be a good thing. <laughs> and then just for allowing me to play and helping me become a better player. Thank you. I want to thank Coach Lott for believing in me and um, pushing me to get better and believing that I could be a leader on the team and um, kind of getting me there and allowing me to do that um, for hockey. Um, I want to thank Coach Burrell for, you know, throwing me into lacrosse and getting me through that season. Um, it, it was not an easy season for me, um, but she, she kind of kept me grounded and kept me going through and made me kind of stick with it. I want to thank Coach Newman um, for helping me through this season and helping me really understand um, the game of lacrosse and being patient with me, even though like I have had a year of experience understanding that I still, I still didn't really know what it, exactly I was doing going into the season um, and helping me kind of slow down and understand the rules and really gain a new appreciation and love for the the sport.
Thank you so much to Tom and Teresa Boylan. Without them, I would not be where I am today. And I'm really gonna miss my second family.